Okay, so um, data is apparently the new gold, and there's a lot of data that you can extract from your own car. It's just that the apps for this online are um, you have to they're paid apps. You have to pay for them, and uh, even if even with the uh, free versions, you can't read all the sensors. Uh, so this is an open source app that I made here that I just wanted to demonstrate. Um, the code for it is uh, of course in the description and. Um, uh, it's only supported on Windows uh, for now, and uh, I don't even know. <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, uh, I can I can support it on more things, but uh, I just needed something that could uh, read data, ex export it into a CSV file, and also display data. Uh, and so I used Electron JS framework and uh, Python as a backend using the Python OBD library. It's a great library that lets you read data and um, you know handles the lower level. Uh, interface with the car. So yeah, it's only supported on Windows. The code is in the description and uh, I'm gonna run it right now. Um, so only thing that you need, by the way, uh, or only thing that I needed to buy was the OBD2 uh, USB adapter. That's how your car is going to, or that's how your laptop is gonna talk to the car uh, with a wired connection. So I have it plugged in right now. I don't really wanna take it out, um, but I bought this from uh, Amazon for about $25. Okay, so there's that. Uh, it's really underneath everything, but it should be there. Okay, so I'm in my uh, uh, CMD. Um, if you download the project, you're going to have to uh, open this up, uh, type in CD, change directory, and then enter the directory of wherever you downloaded uh, the GitHub project. Um, but first, I'm going to hit test.py. This is just a Python file that's going to check if all the connections were good. Uh, to the car if there's only one connection and then it's going to check if it's able to connect with uh, Python OBD if it's able to read data and if everything's good uh, you should see RPM values printed so this is the RPM value and then using uh, Python OBD I also have the uh, debugging mode on so it tells you exactly what's going on okay and uh, this should help with uh, if anything goes uh, wrong and uh, then I'm going to do npm start uh, to boot up the program. Uh, if it's the first time, then you're going to have to do npm uh, install to install uh, npm install to install the uh, dependencies and the modules. But but I already have that installed, so let's hit npm start. Hit the start button, and of course, don't uh, don't use it um, when uh, when you're driving. Um, have someone else uh, look at the screen for you. Um, and then there's uh, of course the dark mode and the light mode toggle that you can do. Uh, so here's uh, everything. Um, I found uh, about uh, 40 sensors. Okay, now it's getting the data. And um, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so you can see uh, this is some percentage value, but if you wanna know what it actually is, you can hit this button and uh, this is the engine load, uh, whatever that means. Um, this is the RPM. Uh, um, some of them are just strings of, uh, of numbers here, so uh, this is uh, just the memory location of, of some kind of string message that you can just ignore. Uh, this is telling you something about the oxygen. Um, so let's, let's check out what we have here. Control module voltage, throttle position, that's pretty cool. Uh, fuel level input, uh, the acceleration, uh, pedal position, uh, let, me, let me show that change live. Okay, there it is. I don't want to make my car go too loud. Um, so yeah, uh, after every uh, after all the data acquisition is done, hit uh, export to CSV, and it should be in the desktop. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so here's the data, all the numbers here, uh, the time column. Uh, you can also have the units, uh, runtime seconds. Uh, so let's see this in uh, real time. Let's see uh, real time data change. 